Hello Ninjas, Eric Laviolette, Head Judge Coordinator for the Finals UNAA Championships. Uh, we're going to be showing you the uh, rules and course for the 15U and Pro Divisions. So we have John here from Ninja Intensity and these guys are going to explain to you their course and what the rules are. Hey guys, we're going to go over the course right now. Obstacle 1 starts right here. From here, feet only on black to the red domino at the end. You can use that truss at the very end to help you stop yourself. Aiden, go ahead. So you can use it like that, totally fine. So here, uh, like John was saying, like trusses are allowed. So you're gonna hear that a few times from these guys. They're gonna explain to you what you can do, but contrary to some different comps trusses are allowed so there's no problem if you touch them or use them when you get to the landing platform obstacle two is red only all the way to the end hands and feet are allowed so you cannot touch the blue or the black red only and landing pad is on red so and these guys, judges, are not going to allow anything touching blue. It's red bad. Obstacle three is white only, feet only to the last two red dominoes. You cannot touch this or move it or it's called out. And you're allowed to use the truss right here to stop yourself. So this would be for the 15U. So truss can be used and we don't touch this in any way, shape, or form. And for the pros... It's just a harder set of wheels and that's it. So that's the only different the only harder difference. set of wheels. It's just going to spin a little faster. Perfect. Obstacle number four. You guys can get up to the cane however you want. If you accidentally touch the black, that's fine. You can use the truss in the ring. The starting platform is once both hands are on the cane or even just one. You're going to use only the cane. Hands only, get to this ring, and then once you're here, you can use the truss however you want to get to this platform right here, or you can early dismount from the cane up to you guys. So, feet are allowed on the truss as well? Yes, feet are allowed on this truss. So, so just to be clear, on that corner, the cane is the starting point. So the minute you have your two hands on it, if you drop from there, you lose your point. Correct. Next obstacle is hands only on black. There's black on each side, all the way to this red domino here. This is a precision dismount into the next obstacle, so make sure you stay on it. You're allowed to use the truss to stop yourself. So since you're allowed the trussing, nothing on black will be allowed, not even close. Like, you have to be entirely on the red, so be careful. Next obstacle is hands only on black, besides the mat. <laughs> All the way to this platform here. Due to safety reasons, I recommend you just go to the top and then dismount because it's kind of hard to shoot through here. But you're allowed to if you want to as long as you use hands only. It's up to you guys. And the starting point is? On red. So no feet on the gray. And dismount on the red only. Alright, next obstacle. <laughs> From this red, you can use the blue, the top just not the black on the sides. This is fine. All the way to the red domino here. Trust is allowed once again to stop yourself. Go ahead. So you start on the red, you don't walk on the gray. <laughs> that was quick. Like they said, just so we're very clear, you don't walk on the gray. We don't tolerate anything there. And blue part here, here, that's allowed, nothing at the bottom or the gray mat allowed. Same thing at the other end and on the platform. Next obstacle, you guys can use the truss to climb up. Once your hands are on here, this is the starting platform. You're gonna lache from here to the ring. From here, silver only 
to the dismount. You guys can use the dress to help yourself dismount once again. This is for 15U. I think we're good. Yeah. Next obstacle. From here, they can use the truss to get to the cliffhanger. Cliffhangers only. And they can dismount from as early as they want. Past it. So the cliffhanger. And that one drops. That cliffhanger will drop and then other one and landing platform. As we saw the demonstration for Caden here, you land on the red platform, you can use the trussing, never go on the black, and you can go past here, and it's not gonna be a fail for the next obstacle. Next obstacle, you can climb up to the truss to get to the rings. The steering platform is the ring. You use the ring, and then red only, so spin hoppers and ring. You guys can use the truss to dismount once again. Nice. The obstacle. You can use anything on this board besides the plexiglass and this board. To get to here or past it, you can use the truss again with hands and feet. And these boards will flip. So you land on the platform or past it, on. just the black that is now allowed in any way. And that is the end. Incidental on the plexi, like are you allowed to touch So the incidental on plexi, if you touch it, but if you actively use it, then you'll be called out, yeah. Correct. Perfect. So um, I, we just want to clarify because I know some ninjas are not maybe not used to it. Like uh, John was saying, like when we say something is the start platform, if you fall, I guess, off the truss or whatever before you get to that starting point, it's not a fail. It's going to be a fail from the moment where you're on what's the starting platform and then you fall, right? Correct. So for this one, it's from the red, but for the rings before, if they touch the black getting up to it, that's fine. Perfect. The time cap for the 15U and Pro uh, division will be 3 minutes and 15 seconds. So 3 minutes and 15 exactly. seconds.